Hi there, this is Lewis from AF Golf Store Peterborough. Welcome back to Tech Talk. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about Nippon. So, a little bit of history about Nippon as a company, and then we'll go into the profiles about what they offer. Starting out in 1959, Nippon have been producing shafts ever since then. You've got profiles that have matched pretty much every kind of model that you've seen in the golf market, but the one that you will be most familiar with will be the NS Pro 950GH. Now, this was originally introduced in 1999. We are up at its 25th year anniversary but really a starting point for Nippon's introduction into the North American and the European market. So still boasting what Nippon will talk about in their ultra premium components in steel. They use really, really high grade steel. What you will hear them talking a lot about is their multi-step heat treatment process, which allows consistency of uh, ovalization, consistency of weight, consistency to the original design that every shaft was meant to be. So whether you're picking up a seven iron, a wedge, a one iron from all of their range, it should play exactly as it does to the original design. So 950, like we've said about, is a great option for the lightweight golfer, the amateur golfer. This still boasts plenty of worldwide wins for PJ Tour, Japanese Tour, Pan Asian Tour but it's worked really, really well for the Amateur Golfer Series. You've had 40 million of these shafts sold since its introduction, and you have seen updates to its profile over time. Now in 2009, Nippon decided to introduce the Modus Series, which a lot more of you may be familiar with actually, which is our red label, classic red label that everyone knows. Originally they introduced the 105, the 120 series, and it's been updated since then with the 130, the 125, and the 115 gram option. The Moda series has basically been introduced to add a more tall level option. So where you're gonna get into faster swing speeds, you're gonna get into heavy components, you need a heavier shaft to match in with that profile as well. The 105, the 120, very kind of traditional profiles, and then you're gonna see something, oh sorry, the 105, the 115, the 125 are gonna be very traditional profiles. And then the 130 and the 120 really kind of set themselves apart. Again, we will go back into the profile options that we have later on in this. Finally, what you will have is one of their more recent shaft offerings, and that is the Zelos series. So the Zelos series comes in at 60 grams, 70 grams, and 80 grams, and this is really meant to be their steel alternative to a graphite shaft. So where you might go into those really lightweight graphite options, something nice and easy to swing, nice and easy to get the ball up in the air, Zelos is gonna be the steel competitor for Nippon. For Nippon, they feel that steel is the most important component that they can use and they can make it perform like any other graphite shaft that you might get on the market in both the lightweight and the heavyweight performance. So let's get into the profiles and we'll talk about why each one might benefit you. So, like we said at the start, 950 was their first introduction. You've got something that is super smooth all the way through due to ultra premium components being used in the steel manufacturing process. You've got something where we get softer underneath the handle. So again, the smooth feel is what they emphasize with that. Going into then softer into the hand, into the midsection, and then in the tip section, something slightly firmer. Now, this has worked really, really well for some of the more traditional club head designs, but as club heads have evolved over time, we go into lower center of gravity, stronger lofts. We're finding that golfers will actually come out with a little bit of a lower ball flight going into those new heads. So what Nippon have designed, and what you may know a little bit better than the original 950, is the green label 950 Neo. So the Neo is a great option just a small update to that profile, still getting that smooth profile, that smooth feel that we have talked about, and you will keep hearing me repeat the word smooth with Nippon because it's what they want to emphasize as much as anything. The Neo model is actually slightly more rigid in the midsection than you will get in the 950 GH, and then it's actually slightly softer in the tip section. And the reason for that is what we're wanting is we're wanting a bit more spin out of a modern club head design so that we still keep steep landing angles, get high spin, something that you're actually gonna get proper launch with, and you can still stop it on a green rather than having it run out the back of it. 950, like we said, is the most common offering, but you still have the 1050, the 850, and now a 750 option. All of these numbers just basically relate into the weight category, the 105, uh, so the 1050 is gonna come in at 105 grams. You are going to get the 950 at 95, 850, etc., etc. So, moving into 
the modus profiles. So we said about the 105, the 120, the original options, the 105 and then the later introduction of like we said the 115 and the 125 are very traditional profiles. So think about your dynamic golds from True Temper, something that's been around for a while where you've got softer into firmer all the way through the shaft, which allows you for nice smooth feel, but still with kind of high spin, lower launch conditions. Where the 120 is a little bit different is that they have really reduced the strength of the midsection. So you get something that has even higher kick, slightly easy to turn over, and again, real nice high flight that you know motor shafts from. The 130 option is a real kind of step away, and the 130 option comes in at a really, really stiff, rigid butt section, really, really stiff and rigid midsection, and then softer tip. This is just gonna work in for golfers who are familiar with a Project X profile, someone who wants, again, to be more of a hitter rather than a swinger is how you would describe it. That aggressive tempo that we've talked about previously with hazardous shafts as well. So the 130 you'll see in guys like Sergio Garcia's bag, the 120 will be more familiar to guys like Shane Lowry, for instance, but it's different for every golfer and we'd still always recommend you come in and see what suits you. The 105, the 115, the 125, like we said, that traditional profile. The 125 and the 115 are mainly there just to act in that they didn't have an option in and around the 120 gram. So it's just introduction so that we have a weight category that suits you, whether you need something a little bit heavier, like we said, at 125, or whether the 105 is gonna work just as well for you. So one of the latest offerings that Nippon do is the Zelos shaft that we've talked about again, and we said, Nippon do still experiment with graphite, but they feel due to the, the high quality of the steel that they use from Nishan Steel, you're gonna get something where they can compete just as easily with graphite. They can make sure it's as consistent as graphite can be. The Zelos profile is again, super soft all the way through the shaft. It's there to help the ghoul elevate up into the air. We get as much launch as much spin as we can. So if you're looking for something that's really gonna emphasize the distance part of your golf game, that is what the Zelos is there for, but really, really ultra lightweight. So you're gonna get a competitor going into the graphite options that we do carry as well. So if any of the products of interest to you today, you can come into any of our stores, talk to any of the guys in the store, and they'll be able to really explain for you which is gonna be the best profile, get you booked in for an appointment, and we can make sure that the setup in your bag is the best thing for you.